Let's talk about wallets now. Uh, when you load the uh, key into the device, it creates uh, one wallet by default. So you see here the default wallet, and you see here the address, and it starts with BCRT because I am on the red test. So you can also understand that I am on a different network by looking at the top uh, cover bar. And right now it is blue, that is the color of the rec test, and then testnet is green and mainnet is orange. So you need to explicitly uh, select the network that you are uh, willing to use by going into settings, switch network, and let's say rec test. Uh, I will stay here. Okay, so as this wallet is created by default on the device, it can already uh, verify the change address and, and so on. Uh, so now we need to import the master public key from the device to the watch only wallet. So we go to master public keys and we see here uh, two keys by default, uh, the single key uh, native segwit and multi -sig native segwit. You can also use nested segwit, for that you need to go to the show more keys button and then there is a bunch of uh, other keys as well. Uh, and also you can change the account number, so currently the default one is account number zero. And also you can enter the custom derivation, but we will stay with the defaults. So we show the single key uh, XPUB. Uh, you can toggle here the derivation path if your watch only wallet doesn't support that, uh, or switch from uh, SLEEP132, this XYZ pub style, to the canonical uh, Bitcoin Core-like thing, that is TPUB for testnet and XPUB for uh, mainnet, but for example with Spectre Desktop, uh, the default just works. So uh, on Spectre Desktop we just go to add new device, uh, select Spectre DIY, uh, name it, and then scan the QR code, and we get the XPUB. Uh, so for now we will stay only uh, with the single key, uh, in the next video we will use the multisig. Okay. So we add the device, and now we can create the wallet. Let's call it somehow, and just create the wallet. Great. So I should have already some funds here, so I, I can go and trigger the rescan, and then here I see two bitcoins that I have. So let's send this money somewhere now. So we pick a random address, we pick a random no amount, and then we create the transaction. So uh, then we go to the DIY, uh, sign with QR codes, and this is the unsigned Bitcoin transaction. So uh, on the device, we go to the main screen and then click on scan QR code. Uh, so you see that, uh, well, actually you didn't see it. So let me probably cancel this and show you again. When I click on scan the QR code, the QR code uh, scanner starts blinking. And this is like the laser pointer that you should point at the QR code and then if it's scanned, it will beep, and now you will see the information about the transaction. So we are spending one Bitcoin in total, where 0.1 Bitcoin goes to this address, uh, then there is a fee uh, in percent as well, and then uh, it was able to verify the change output, so it shows that the rest of the amount actually goes back to the default wallet, uh, to the address, change index number zero and also the address if you want to. Okay, so we uh, are happy about it. So we confirm and we get the signed transaction. So if you have problems with scanning the dense QR code, uh, there are two uh, ways. So you see that it says you can click to animate and swipe to expand. So let's swipe and let's click as well. So now it is changing between two. And we can now here click on scan the sign transaction and display it. And it scanned both of the transaction, both of the QR codes, and now we are ready to send the transaction. Great. So this works if the wallet is known to the device. So if, for example, uh, we use a different wallet that is not known, for example, different derivation path, account number, or using the nested segwit, uh, then we need to import it first, because otherwise it won't be able, the device won't be able to verify the change. So for example, uh, let's add the nested segwit um, address as well, nested segwit text pop. 
So we go to uh, the DIY device and here we go to the master keys and we uh, show more keys and we select a single native, uh, single nested segment. Okay, so this is another XPUB. Here it is UPUB, that is like the testnet prefixes. And we also add uh, one more key uh, here. So we scan the QR code and we add the key. So now we have the second uh, XPUB here. So we can create another wallet that will be using DIY device and we call it nested. Uh, nested and select this key. Okay, um, create the wallet. Okay, so the wallet is created. Uh, the address here we can verify. So we can click on verify address by QR code. Uh, and here, if we scan this QR code, it will actually show us the warning that it cannot find the wallet on in this address. So uh, this we did explicitly for security reasons, so uh, such that you cannot lock your funds into unknown derivation path. So you need to explicitly import the wallet. So to import the wallet, uh, you need to go to the Settings Inspector desktop. Uh, export, show DIY QR code, and then just scan it. So internally it is just a Bitcoin Core Descriptor, and now uh, what we see, the device scans the QR code, verified that the key is uh, belonging to this device, and uh, that it is a nested segment single key. So we can confirm and import it. And now if we go to the wallet, we will see that we now have two, the default one and the nested. So default, we can rename. So if we go to the default, let's rename it to native. And then, okay, so now we have two wallets here, uh, native and nested. Uh, and if we go to the nested, we see the addresses, we can browse through these addresses and so on, but also now we can actually uh, check, verify the receiving address. So here is the address, we need to uh, show the QR code uh, for the verific verification, then we scan it and we get the correct address here. So we can compare that they are the same. Uh, so this way you can also use other uh, wallets, not only the default that is native SegWit, but also nested SegWit and also multi-seq and also different uh, accounts. So for multi-seq, I will show how to use it in the next video. Um, yeah, and for this one, uh, that's pretty much it. You can verify the addresses, you can send, you can verify the change, uh, pretty much everything that you need.